time to get breakfast. got fruit looks like we've got omelet and sausages pastries muffins water we've got a fridge of milk and yogurt fruit cups there's a hard-boiled eggs and then dry cereal that looks really good so I ended up getting the omelet with sausage cinnamon toast crunch my coffee a couple of bottles of water hard-boiled egg and a couple of these almond butter biscuits they're really yummy three hours later hey guys I'm Mara and I'm mom and we're in day five at Lake Hollywood Park in front of the Hollywood sign let's get this day started different things and the first thing that came out is this tuna sashimi and then they gave us some edamame. Okay so Mara's gonna try the sashimi first. Oh my It's really good. It looks really good. It's really fresh. Mm -hmm. What is it um the marinade or the seasoning on there? Let me take a try. So Mara discovered something really good. She's dipping the edamame in the ponzu sauce. Delicious. Our next course came out. Looks like it's salmon and albacore. Those look really delicious. Like that. Okay, so she's going in for the albacore. It's falling apart. Uh oh. It's not pretty anymore. <laughs> How is it? Better than the ahi? I don't think so. But it still tastes really fresh. Yeah? You're gonna eat the um, salmon now? Yeah. Oh, maybe the other one fell apart because it has sauce on it. This one is dry. Salmon's your favorite, so... What do you think? I'm getting a lot of rice. Not the best salmon you ever had? I don't think so. Oh, that's okay. Thank you. 
So we got our next course, which is the Toro hand roll. I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's mostly all covered up in the seaweed. Okay, I'm gonna let Mara have the first bite. Oh, let me see. Okay. I think I need some soy sauce. <laughs> Is that really yummy? Don't need it all. Save some for me. Yeah? Thumbs up for that one? Do you like this or the ahi better? You know, I think I kind of like the ahi better because I like that it's um, more of like a piece of fish. This one is kind of uh, mashed up. Let's see, it's kind of mashed up. So I, think I, I think I like the ahi just a tiny bit better, but this is really good. It's really close. So we got our next course. We've got Toro Sushi, Yellowtail, Sea Bream, and Harami. I've actually never had Harami before, so I'm really curious what that tastes like. Okay. What are you going to try first? Of course. Looks like you're having some trouble. <laughs> How is it? Is it better than the hand roll? The hand roll is better? Yeah. Okay. But it's pretty good. Well, this one looks really meaty, so maybe that's why. Okay, what's next? The yellow tail. What do you think? It's good. Yellowtail's my favorite, so. Yeah, I usually don't like yellowtail, but that was so soft. That's the sea bream. What do you think? It doesn't seem like it has a lot of flavor. Yeah, white fish sometimes aren't very strong in flavor. Now that one looks really interesting. I'm really curious. Is that really fishy? It's like spicy. Oh, spicy. It's got some spice in that sauce. But how's the fish? Yeah, the sauce might like be a little overpowering for the fish. Yeah. So next I'm gonna try the the sea green. Mm. It slightly reminds me of um, squid. The squid is chewier, but this one kind of reminds me of that. It's good, but. I think it generally doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. Cleanse my palate. 
the last uh, course of the Nozawa Trust Me. It's a crab roll, crab hand roll. How is it? It's good. It's fresh crab, right? Not your favorite though? No. But it's really good. You can taste the crab. Um, half crab and half lobster. So I believe this is the lobster and this is the crab. Okay, you gonna try? and soy sauce. Good? That is the crab, right? <laughs> Does it not taste like lobster? <laughs> oh, so maybe when I try it, I should try the lobster first. Mara's favorite just came out. It's Ikura salmon roll. This is what she's been waiting for. Mm. 
They're so pretty. They're different than the ones we've seen before. So noticeably different than any Akura we've ever had before. I yeah. mean, they definitely look different. So if you can see, they look like little eyeballs. They've got like a little white um, and then a really dark orange right in the center. I don't know if it can focus on it. Wow. <laughs> They're like not salty. They're not fishy. It's like they're almost like water. Oh. But it tastes so good. So definitely safe to say it was your favorite today. That's insane. Okay, this is our last order. It's uni, which is sea urchin. This is also one of my favorites, but we don't get to eat it very often because it's usually like really expensive or restaurants just don't have it. But I've heard that it's really amazing here, so I'm looking forward to trying it. You want to try first? Um, okay. Should I just take a bite or should I just try the Just take a bite. Okay. And if you like it, just eat the whole thing. Should I dip it in soy sauce or is it salty? I would try it without soy sauce first. What do you think? <laughs> it has a weird flavor. Well, it is sea urchin. I like the texture. Have you had sea urchin before? I thought you did. Yeah, but it was like not good quality. It's like I like it. It's just okay. Like the texture is good, but the flavor is a little weird. Okay. At least you tried it. Okay, so this is the sea urchin pulsa. Let's try this. I've been looking forward to this like all week. Oh my god. I don't even think words can describe how good this is. It's so creamy. It doesn't have like a strong fishy odor. It's really good. It's everything that I anticipated and more. It's really, really good. I'm so glad I got a chance to try it. I would have been so sad if they didn't have it today. just finished lunch and it was amazing that was so good that was the best sushi experience I've ever had yeah me too yeah I definitely want to come back here again can't come to SoCal without a Portos run am I right okay let's go So these are all the treats that we got from Portos today. We've got the Cuban sandwich, we've got a guava strudel, an apple strudel, a dulce de leche besito, which is a little cookie. We've got a pineapple empanada. We've got a spinach and feta empanada, a chicken empanada, a chicken croquette, and a potato ball. Really excited to try all of these. So Portos has delivery on a handful of items, but we wanted to try things that we can't order um, through the delivery system. So um, I think I'm gonna start with the Cuban sandwich. Let's see. Hmm. It's really good. Wanna try? So Cuban sandwich has ham, it has uh, pickles, mustard, 
What else is it got in there? Cheese. What do you think? I really like the bread. The bread is so good. It's a little salty. It tastes really good though. I think Cuban sandwiches in general are pretty salty. Yeah. I think that's why they put the mustard to kind of help offset this um, saltiness. Okay, what do you want to try next? Um, let's try the chicken empanada. It looks so good. How is it? The outside it's so good. Yeah, it looks really uh, flaky and crispy. Mmm. Mm hmm The outside is buttery, too. It's just really good. Yeah, I love, like, crusts. Any sort of, like, crust on pastries and even with savory items. It's just so good. Speaking of crusty, savory items, we'll try their signature item, their potato ball. Now these we've eaten a lot of, but I can't go to Porto's and not get a potato ball. That would be like a sin. It's good. It's better when it's hot, but because we got this to go, it's cooled down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna try the potato bowl. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's very hearty. I'm not usually as big a fan of the potato bowls, but it definitely tastes good. So if you look inside, it's got ground beef. It's got a little bit of, I think, bell peppers and some seasoning. But it's very, very hearty. It's got, of course, it's made with potatoes. It's good, though. Okay, your turn. What's next? I'm going to try a box of goodies. A guava strudel. Oh, so you're going from savory to sweet. Yeah. Oh, that sounds really crispy and flaky. So we'll get the inside and then look at the crust. That's so good. Mmm. Wow. It is really good. And I actually prefer the one without cheese. They actually sell this with cheese. But I think the one without cheese is better. Yeah. I think we usually don't like sweet and savory together. Mm-hmm. So for us, just the fruit is good. Okay, I think I'm going to go back to savory. I want to try this chicken croquette. I don't think I've ever tried this before, so it's my first time. It's kind of got like this really interesting shape. The outside is like similar to the potato ball. Mm hmm Yeah, I think they use the exact same breading for the potato ball and for this. So inside, it's like chopped up chicken. And I think it has a little potato and maybe some celery or something in there. Mmm, it's really good. I know this that might sound funny, but I think that would actually taste really good with rice. Mmm, I really like it. I think I like this better than I like the potato ball. Yeah, me too. It has like more flavor. I think it has cheese in here too. It's good. Next we have the spinach and feta empanada. It looks like a croissant. Yeah, kind of. It has a really nice outside. 
Ooh, it sounds really, really flaky and it looks really buttery. <laughs> you haven't gotten to the inside yet. <laughs> That's okay because you like the outside. Maybe we should have like broke it in half first. Maybe. Did you get some? Mm hmm. So, I thought this one would have a lot more filling. If you can see, there's hardly any filling, but it tastes really good. It just tastes like mostly like a croissant. Yeah. But it is good. This would be good for breakfast or lunch. I'm not a big fan of like spinach and feta inside of like different pastry crusts, but I like the outside. <laughs> But you can only taste the outside because there's hardly any filling, so it kind of worked out good for you. Okay, I think uh, next I wanted to try this um, pineapple empanada. We've never had this before, so I'm really curious. There, piece for you. You can see all the pineapples inside. Cheers. Oh, it has a strong scent. Mmm. This is really good. You can taste the pineapple. I think it's a little sour, but not too sour. But it's sweet too. So one of my favorite items at Porto's, they don't have all the time, it's the mango turnover. And they didn't have it today, but this is, you know, a close second in my book. I like this a lot. I really like the outside. It's like flaky, but it's also doughy. And it's like eating bread. Mm hmm But like better. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how Portos does it, but Man, the, the bread, all the different types of bread, the pastries, they're so good. Okay, what are we having now? I think the last thing is the apple strudel. No, we have the um the besito, the dulce mm. de leche besito. Which literally means dulce de leche uh, kisses, so... This is the apple like, strudel. Sorry. It's okay. Do that part again. This is the apple strudel. I don't know if we've had this before either. Oh, it's got powdered sugar on it too. Wow, it's like layers and layers of... Yeah. The side I bit into has no apple. <laughs> <laughs> so it's perfect for Mara. I'll try biting the other side. <laughs> Oh wait, there's a little bit there. Mm -hmm. Does it taste like apple pie? Mm -hmm. It's like a flakier apple pie. Mmm. Tastes way better than apple pie. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that for Thanksgiving every year now. <laughs> That's so good. It's, it reminds me of Thanksgiving, but better. Yeah, for me, like apple pies are really sweet. And this is not like overly sweet. Mm -mm. It's just perfectly sweetened. And then there's a, a little bit of sourness in the apple too still. Very good. Okay, last but not least, the dulce de leche besito, which I guess if you translate it, it's like uh, uh, milk, sugar milk kisses. Oh. I didn't know oh. there would be stuff on yeah, the inside. Yeah, there's actually something on the inside, and I'm not sure what it is. Oh, I think it's caramel. That's the, the, the sweet part, the sugar part. That's really good. The outside is incredible. It's like crunchy. Mm -hmm. What can we? What can you think of that's similar in that 
that texture. I know I've had that texture before. Like um, a soft bread cookie. Mm -hmm. Or like a short, a short bread, bread. Short, short bread cookie. Short bread, not. Yeah, but better because this is like crunchy where short bread cookie is usually soft. And this one's not like dry like a short bread cookie. Yeah, and the inside really is good. I know you don't really like caramel yeah. too much, but. I like the outside. <laughs> Yeah, car caramel's not my thing. Yeah. I think everything that we ate today is really good. What, what was your favorite? So pick a favorite savory and pick a favorite sweet. Um, I'd probably say the Cuban sandwich for a savory. Um, for sweet, I would say probably the pineapple empanada. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with the chicken croquette as my favorite savory. I really like that a lot. And then for my favorite sweet, I think I'm gonna have to go with the apple strudel. That was like amazing. It was like way better than I thought I'm it would really be. I'm really surprised. Yeah. You, you probably thought I would have said the apple strudel and then yeah. I thought you were gonna say the pineapple empanada. Yeah, but yeah, it was, so, it was that good. Like it was different than an apple pie, but it like reminds you of an apple pie. So, yeah, it was really good. I, I love trying new foods, and so that was really fun. Yeah, everything was really good. Well, thank you for sharing your time with us today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.